We are in Belgrade, Serbia, where extraordinary parliamentary elections will be held on Sunday. Let's see what led to these elections. After the mass murders that took place in Serbia in May, a long series of Serbia against violence protests began. Hundreds of thousands of people walk these streets for half a year for the durations of protests. Citizens presented a number of demands to the government, including requested dismissals and institutional responsibility for the mass murders, the confiscation of national permits for television stations that promote violence, the cancellations of reality shows, among others. When the government failed to fulfill any of the demands, the opposition blocked the Serbian parliament operations and asked Serbia's president Aleksandar Vucic to call for early elections, which he eventually did. These protests, which were organized by the oppositions, led to the coalition's Serbia Against Violence, which is also the biggest opponent of the Serbian Progressive Party's list, which in the forthcoming elections will be called Aleksandar Vucic, Serbia must not stop. U Srbiji smo imali jednu zaista prljavu, kratku, ali jako prljavu kampanju. Toliko se toga negativnog skupilo u tih, eto, koliko nedelja ili dana, ali ja mislim da smo mi uspjeli da dođemo do velikog broja ljudi. Ovo je verovatno jedna od jako specifičnih kampanja u kojoj mi je bilo jako puno direktnog kontakta sa ljudima i čini mi se da je prosto osjeća se nada, osjeća se jedna velika želja za promjenama. In the past month an election campaign took place during which the competing parties presented their programs to voters. We asked the citizens of Belgrade what they expect from the elections. I don't expect anything. I just won't go to the election. I don't expect anything. I won't go to the election. And I won't go to the election. I would like some changes. In any case, I expect to see Aleksandar Vučić. Nothing. Will you go? It's normal. I don't expect anything. I don't expect anything. The pension is working. What do I expect? The pension is working. 18 election lists with a total of 2,817 candidates are competing for the 250 seats in the Parliament of Serbia. In tandem with the parliamentary elections, provincial and local elections will be held in 65 cities and municipalities across the country, including in Belgrade. About 6.5 million voters have the right to vote in Sunday's elections.